Oh, Math Champ's got a fan. Deku, Deku Frutal is a fan of your ships. Math Champ does amazing ship, amazing ship work. Okay, all right. So we are going to do one more ship here. Um, I think I want to play that really cool looking blue ship that I was looking at. And I think it had a fire, a combat drone that started fires. That looked like a lot of fun. Uh, I think that was a rock ship, maybe? Dual border is this one. This one looked really cool. I just, blue is my favorite color. And this kind of royal blue color is like, I just love it. And it looks all shiny and ah, what a gorgeous ship. Scottish Pingu probably creates the most visually stunning looking ships. Um, just with the coloration work they does with GIMP or whatever it's called that he does. Uh, let's see the description. An unlikely pairing, but both parties equally disliked one. Equally disliked. One explodes in your face, the other punches you while you're on fire. <laughs> Alright. So. Uh, it's got Clone Bay level 2, a defense scrambler, Zoltan shield by... Oh, this is a boarding ship. Okay. This is a boarding ship, okay. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking we two-man board with rock dudes while we use the hybrid ignition drone. I think that's probably what this ship is built to do. The problem is that puts a Zoltan on piloting, which is pretty, pretty bad. Hmm. I'd probably actually want to swap out Zoltan for like an NG pilot or something. But okay. Interesting build. Let's see. Let's see. Interesting idea, Cotton. Let's see how it pans out. Okay. Nice. Um, some of those... Oh, that's so crazy. Some of those uh, Gibbs look a little funky. <laughs> Not funky as in bad as in... Um, human horn. Kind of funky. But very, very interesting thing there. Okay. Yeah, as we were yeeting those pieces there. Alright, so we're going to attempt to board... Um, with rock dudes while starting fires. That's the, that's the plan here. Alright, let's see here. Never surrender recruit to slavers. All right, let's go in here and see if we can take out your heal bay or your weapons. Probably your weapons first. We do have clone bay. So for those who don't know, because you can't see, this thing is actually... I don't know if it's 100% to start fires, but it's chance to start fires with every shot. Yeah, okay, let's fight in this room. Will anybody fight us here? Looks like no. Okay. Okay. Nobody will fight us in there. Okay. Okay. Um. So I don't want them to die. Well, actually, I probably do since I need to probably clone them. This is going to be an interesting one because... We don't... We're gonna have to clone them every time. Unless... unless we... Does the Ignite Drone... do any damage to crew? That's... that's my question. I don't think it does, since it says it does zero... hole damage. Do no hole damage, pierces two shield layers. So it doesn't actually do any damage to my crew, right? It starts fires, but with 100% chance. Okay, so it is 100% chance. So I want to board wherever that hits. Okay. All right, so we're going to go here and then store and see if we can get uh, long-range scanners or something. Okay. That's a cool-looking ship. Look at that pink. Wow. Wow. Even just your random enemy ships that you've recolored look... Amazing. Okay, let's go in here. So that should be a fire. That should make this go faster. Although they have a rock, dude. 
Good dodge. Nice. Sensors are close to piling so you can quickly nip in. Cat. <laughs> They're just running around the ship trying to not burn to death and repair stuff. Where where is where is the rock dude? The hardest part is gonna actually be finding their crew. Oh gosh, come on, combat drone. Get that crap out of here. Yeah. It's finding their rock crew as he runs around. Alright, free free repair. <clears throat> Finally finished a D and D dragon miniature you've been planting painting for quite a while. Nice sarcastic guild. My older brother does that kind of stuff. That's cool. If you want to take a picture and show chat, you're welcome to do that. I'll need to permit you, but I would definitely be interested in seeing it too if you'd like to show it. Ship looks like their ship looks like something from Tron, yeah. Drone recovery arm, huh? Interesting. I'd have to sell something to get it. Zoltan Shield Bypasser Defense Scrambler. Oh yeah, Pie Boy's here to do the permit. Nice. Um, so here's a question then. Did you test this, Scottish Pingu? Do it, does the Ignite drone do anything to shields? Because we know that Fire Bomb doesn't, but Fire Beam does. If this takes out Zoltan Shields, I'm going to sell Zoltan Shield Bypass, I think, for the Drone recovery arm. Do you know if it does? I think I'm just going to do it. It should go through the Zoltan Shield, really. Well, I still want the Drone recovery arm. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Drone recovery arm is really good. I mean, we have a lot of drone parts, but anytime I fight a missile ship, I'll be using two. So, what's up, Cruel Angel? Um, do I want that? No, I don't have any missiles, so that's fine. How am I doing? Pretty good. Had some pretty cool ships we've been playing today. And this one's really interesting. Fire, this is a new take on the fire rock boarding ship. A new take on it. The thing starting fires is a drone. Which is definitely new and not a, not a thing we've seen before. Oh, okay, I gotta go to... The problem now is I have to find a room without fires to actually finish them. Nice. Uh, patch up my zero damage. Cool. Sleek looking ship. Yeah, I, I really like the look of it. The blue... The blue shiny blue. It's probably my favorite colored ship we've seen so far. Here we go. Alright, let's check it out. So this is your... D&D &D Color Dragon. Wow, that looks really good. And kind of a red red and tan color. Well done. Really nice. Do you use that... Um, I got clone base, so we can do that. Do you use that as like a, a thing you put on the your D&D &D boards when you play in sessions and fight dragons, I would assume? I don't know how often you fight dragons in D&D &D since the... Campaign I'm doing is the first D&D campaign I've ever done. Uh, ignore. It could be a tarp. It's not a tarp. Damn. My older brother does that kind of stuff with, um... Warhammer... 20k. Not very often. Dragons normally will eat you alive. That's what I figured. <laughs> you probably need to be really high level to be able to fight dragons. You're back to the table in D&D, &D and we fight dragons a fair bit, but you have two dragon hunters. Wow, that's that's cool. Is that a, is that a class? There's my store I couldn't get. It'll be used eventually when people can get together again. Usually play D&D &D without figurines. Okay. Scrap some of the debris. Zoltan, well, I did just get rid of my Zoltan shield. However, boarding on Zoltans will be really good with fires. So, I, I would rather fight them than auto scout. So, we're going to go here. Yeah, it looks really good, Sarcastic Gill. I like it. Well done on that. It's going to be here in 10. Okay, we can get some extra jumps up through the nebula. Okay. 
It's a serious pain in the butt to paint. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the process, because that's kind of the reason to do it, right? Oh my god. Okay, where are doors? I hope you enjoyed it. That's why my brother does it, because he really enjoys that kind of thing. Of course he would fucking bored in my goddamn piloting. This is stupid, man. This is stupid. Okay. Can I at least still vent them to get them out of there to buy myself time? Good. Okay, good. Okay, well, you aren't going to be able to repair your stuff, so get wrecked, you cheating cheatersons. Freaking cheating mantis. Free borders because we cheat. Oh, God. Okay, that's fine. Shield is fine. Um... No weapons, and I'm gonna allow my guys to die, so I can clone them. So there you go, Rocker Mantis better, Mantis win. But, coin flip, had one health left, so... Uh, you know what, his ship probably burns down and he dies. You... Your ship actually just dies because... Oh, we actually... Ha! <laughs> okay. I thought we were going to kill the entire ship. It's going to explode from the fires there. But we did get the crew kill still. All right. Frickin' free borders. In a Zoltan sector. I swear we get more goddamn Zoltan border... Or more frickin' Mantis borders in Zoltan sectors than we do in frickin' Zoltan... Mantis sectors! Can't even talk! <laughs> more frickin' Mantis borders in Zoltan sectors than we get Mantis borders in Mantis sectors. I swear. I frickin' swear. Okay. Give me power. Let's get our second shield. Can't even talk. Stupid game. Maybe you should point your ignite drone at your own ship for a while. Ha ha ha. Okay. Uh, well, here's the counter, counter and auto scout. But I do have defense drone, so let's go ahead and do that. Borders and fire still get countered by auto scouts. This is where the speed helps the mantis as the rocks were slow getting the room, but like I said, coin flip, yeah. Because they started... Started attacking before the rock dudes were in place. That's kind of another reason I just like Mantis better. I think it's more often that they win the fight because they attack while the rock men are moving into place. Rand is upset. He wants some spaghetti. Nah. Cookie might help. I've had three cookies today. So it's okay. Zoltan Sector. We're Mantis. Mantis Sector. We're Mantis and Zoltans. Uh, Mantis Sector wouldn't say that. That would be Zoltan Sector that says we're Mantis and Zoltans. So... All right. Okay. Tourist ship. So I'm going to be... Uh, I got to see how many jumps I can get from getting these two extra jumps here. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Maybe. Every sector is a mantis sector. Um, I don't know, but I enjoy that. So the problem with this defense, uh, with this ignite drone is going to be that it actually only gets through two shields. So not overpowered to only get through two shields. So we actually do need to get another weapon. Heavy Pierce can't really do anything here. Except hit one shield to knock it down, I guess. There's an FTL mod where it's the Mantis fleet instead of the Rebel fleet. They all move faster. Yikes. Somebody in here repairing? Ah, there is a rock, dude. All you know from Farb is to say no to Zeltons. Say no to them about what? Alright, store. I don't really have anything I want to sell unless I sell Defense Scrambler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's probably what I want to do. One, two, three, four. Do, 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 do. 
Oh god. Okay, oh, that's fine. Start setting your ship on fire. Wow, my drone really hates his engine system. F this engine system in particular. I need one shield, so we're gonna die here. Well, maybe not. Eh, well, that mantis, or that rock dude's gonna die. And so is that rock dude. Oh, does he win? Hey! Mutual destruction, the best kind of destruction. Oh, just say to no, no to Zoltan's sectors. Okay, yeah, sure. I haven't got any free crew for my boarding yet. Where are my free bo Where are my free crew at? Where it at? I need to replace my frickin' Zoltan on frickin' piloting who's getting useless training that's not gonna be helpful. Have I watched Whiplash? I don't know what that is. Is that a TV show or what? So I will say no. What is it? A game? Uh, I guess we get Hole Laser 1. It's not great, but it's something. Heavy Pierce is just not a very good weapon. I guess we have to do that. Do I sell anything here? Let's try to like, get it online. Probably not. I need 60 scrap. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Oh, why did I think I could? Yeah, that's right. One, two, three, four, five, oh, six. That should be good. It's about a band, you think? And Whiplash is a movie? Okay. Okay, you can't get through my shield. So is this going to just go through the Zoltan shield? Ha, <laughs> it is. Now that's pretty interesting. I don't think that's an interaction I've seen very often. A laser that actually goes through Zoltan shield. And other shields. Dude, I still... He's got no shields, but I still can't board him. Until the Zoltan shield is down. Okay. Wait, is this gonna pierce the shield and I still can't board? Okay, okay. Thankfully, Heavy Pierce doesn't pierce Zoltan shield, which is a weird thing to say. There it is. No surrender. You die. Uh, we currently have no shield, Zoltan shield bypass. The ship started with it, but I sold it to get something. I think defense drone or something. I forget. Um, what did I use that to buy? Long range scanners? No, I don't have that. I think it was just the defense drone. Oh, drone recovery arm. That's what it was. Thank you. It was drone recovery arm that I bought with it. Okay. So the plan is one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if getting through two nebulas will give us a sixth, but even if it could, I, w I don't think the layout allows for that. We tried to make a four-man teleporter a bit different than normal and take a bit more to get going. Well, I think you succeeded in that. The only difficulty will be the issue with boarding falling off. And we're going to need to get some sort of support for this thing to be able to get through two shields. So I'm not sure what that is going to take to make that happen. All right, so I'm gonna do this. Swap them around. I keep Pyboy around for him to remind me things. That's right. Okay, where'd you go? Oh, that's a flak mark too, okay. That'll get through shields. Not exactly what I was looking for, but okay. One, two, three. Um, do I go to level two piloting? We had the we had the clone bay for the protection from that. Would I rather blue option or clone bay? I think I want to save up for a uh, whole laser. The best flak to sell. That is correct. The best sack flak to sell is how I would describe that weapon. Um, okay. You know what? I'm going to use this. There's a small chance it actually does damage. It's starting a fire. I think. If it starts a double fire, I think there's a chance. Um, I guess we can put one guy in shields, one guy in weapons. Just for a little bit of training, maybe. 
Burn out the auto ship. That's the plan. See how well that does. I'm only doing this because we have uh, drone recovery arm. Oh, somebody. Uh, oh, that looks like a bot anyway. Okay. So where are the bots? The bots are getting more prevalent. Rambot sniped him. Get sniped, bot. Get Your bot gets sniped by my bot. My bot better than your bot. Alright, so I need 10 more scrap and I can get a whole laser online here. Or I just go only flak too, but I don't think I like that. You know, I, I will do this. That'll be a value point for that. Yeah. Anti bot bot works. That's right. Can fire still damage in a vacuum? Very rarely. The way it works for it to actually do damage is it has to start a double fire and burn down a system before it goes out from the vacuum. It's really rare. It doesn't happen very often, but it can happen. Okay. All right, well, it stopped all the drones, so that's what I wanted it to do. Do 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 Is the stream audio robot-y for anyone else? I would refresh first. Yeah, I'm I have a guess it's a Twitch or connection issue on your end, so I would try restarting before anything else. Uh, I'm not restarting, but re refreshing the stream is usually the easiest way to check if it fixes it. You might even reclose your browser or something. Sometimes Twitch is weird. Refri refreshing twice worked. Great. Glad to hear it. All right. So we can get this online. This quest could be a store. So let's not spend our scrap because what if long range scanners? Uh, rescue the space dock. Okay. You have a clone bay. Go for weapons first, and then clone bay next. And he boarded me. Okay. Scootle doodle doodle doot. Scootle doodle doodle scoot. Scootle doodle doodle doot. Oh, I can just vent the shield room. Ha! <laughs> nice vents. I like them. Some effective venting. Okay, now we hit the clone bay. But I don't want to do too much. To oh, is this burning? I probably don't need to... Yes, we can just do that. That should be it. GG, free one hole repair. Well, okay, it is a store. Where's that heavy combat drone again? I guess that in combination with Ignite Drone could be good, but I'd rather have... Um, I would rather have a defense drone for missile defense. Venter, nicely set up. Gain plus one ship points. There you go. Uh, you know what? This would be my best crew for... Uh, freeing up my Zoltan. Because it'd be mind control immunity on the pilot piloting position. But if I do that, I won't be able to get my whole laser online. You know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to sell the flak too. And I'm going to do this. So I can get this online. That also gives me the power to use that. I have the power to use a whole laser now. Okay. Something like that. Like it. Wish the heavy combat drone made a heavy laser sound shot. You actually like pilot being far away from vents too. That's a nice touch in your opinion. Nice. Okay. Okay. All laser is actually not bad with this build too because I think it's got fire. Uh, no, it's breach chance, so actually it is not as good as I was thinking. I mean, Pierce does have fire chance, so we will do that. You can't do damage to me, so... I guess for a little bit of training we'll do that. That's a fire in there. Okay. 
What ship is this? This is um, one of Scottish Scottish Pingu ships. I forget what it's called. He's got so many ships. I forget the names of some of them. Oh man. You refreshed my rockman. You joik. Okay, well let's do the same to you, I guess. Uh, Stag Torch? What a- <laughs> what is that name? Stag Torch. Slug is free power too, so it's kind of like 20 scrap. Yeah. It's putting Slug in piloting frees up the Zoltan to give us the free power, yeah. You just like saying nice things about people's ships? Me too. Definitely prefer that to people going, Ah, oh, your ship sucks because X. Um, so I could dive for a store, but I don't want to. Mantis Homeworlds? Yeah, let's get Kazak. I already had the setup for Kazak, which I messed up on my previous run when I thought I just had everything already. We have a really good setup to get Kazak. Stag Torch, like a stag beetle. Oh. Oh my god, that's a flak too. Um, the stag beetle set things on fire? Not sure if I quite understand the reference. Beautiful. Okay. Um, are there any fires anywhere that I can fight in, please? Mm, all the fires are over here. Ship has horns like a stag beetle, and the torch is the fire bit. Ah, okay. So this is the stag. Or the beetle. And... What was it called? Stag torch? It's torch beetle? <laughs> I already forgot what it was called. It's called stag torch. Okay. So, so this is the stag part. This is the torch part. Gotcha. Alright. It's time to refresh. Sorry. Um, do I want to refresh both of you? Yeah, we don't have like a store or anything, so we better do that in case we get Kazak. Need you have full health against Mantids. Yeah, the piloting was on fire. I guess I could wait till the fire starts before boarding. That's probably the better way to do it. I wouldn't have to, I won't have to wait long. <laughs> I love how this ship just keeps burning after we kill all their crew. We need 2k scrap on the bank at the end of the run. Uh, that was the other one. We're not going for that this time. <laughs> no thanks. I would love to, but... We need to find silly device to man our doors. We do. Okay, well, at least it's not free Mantis Borders, I guess. Ugh. But is it a solar flare? I really hate this event. Not as bad as some other boarding events, but it's a really annoying, stupid one. Stupid, stupid event. This chance for frickin' freehold damage here. Frickin' freehold damage. Actually, let's get the guy with more health to do this. Okay, and get you back over there. You there. Okay. Means I don't get to heal my dudes before we leave, which sucks. We go down and around. Okay, thank goodness that connects where this would be a terrible sector. It's already pretty bad. It's actually a pretty nice dive sector if we had a build for diving. You'll make an event that is free flak borders and they'll just spam their ability. <laughs> why why would you do that? Why would you do something so mean and trolly? Oh, because trolling me is fun, I guess. Alright, so we want to do this first. Start fires and then board in the best fire room. Fire room? Yes, that. Shield works. It's funny that they won't fi uh, fight with three people in there. I guess they always will fight the number of people we send with the number of people to match or something. This one guy... It's tanking all the damage. Let let this guy do some work. Beautiful. 
How come all but one playable ships have a door subsystem, but almost no enemy ships have them? I don't know. Probably because they... I don't know. Balance. Because reasons, I don't know. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, distress won't be this, the uh, the Kazakh. Later sectors, doors are more common. It's probably just because of the number of sectors they're allowed to have. Uh, systems are allowed to have per sector or whatever. What is this? Well, this is a new event. Okay, you are drawn to a quiet area of space. Out of nowhere, a vessel appears. We have been waiting for the descendant of the great Nagi. Only they can stop the calamity that has beset everyone. You don't know what they're talking about and decide to move on. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I need a... I, I probably need a mantis for that. You don't know what they're talking about. Decide to move on. F for that event, by the way. That's, a, that's an event that I think... Um, Scottish Pingu has done. Okay, Kazak. You don't actually need the blue option from Kazak, I'm pretty sure. You don't know what they're talking about. You decided to move on. What what a what a lackluster event. <laughs> that was pretty funny though. Alright, you do have a missile and one laser, so we can do this. We should take no damage. We just have to be careful we don't do too much damage to their ship. That's the thing we have to worry about. Cause we gotta get the crew kill. Okay, fire in the heal bay is perfect. And then we go into the heal bay to fight them. <sighs> okay. Come on, FTL. Just come the fridge on. Frickin' fridge. Fridge-tastic. Thing here. Oh my god. Okay. Um, is this still on fire? Okay. Oh my god. Okay, well, no weapons for me, I guess. Single failed defense drone means my entire weapon system goes offline. Goddamn balanced game right there. Frickin' balanced FTL. My god. It's a special event for Mantis B. It starts with a mod molded, modded halberd beam, and if you take a fight, there's upgrades there. It upgrades to a better modded halberd beam. Okay. All right, we just need to get the doors low enough that I can go fight these guys here. Okay. The issue there is that it's just another empty jump for any other ship. Okay. Quickly, teleport additional crew. Check for survivors. Quickly, configure the combo bay to save them. Yay, Kazak! We got our Mantis Pheromones. You know what? That's actually really nice. Look at our Rockman. Book it! Oh, you book it, Rockman. You book it. All right, and that's going to allow me to put you on shields, which is where I want you to go. And you on... Actually, well, do I... Hmm. Do I want a four-man board with Kazakh when we have uh, constant fire setting? <laughs> Probably do, actually. Four-man rock boarding would be the ideal, but... Intentional there's enough detail in the ship description to put two and two together. You're gonna have to take another uh, give the ship a chance to spawn with a better version of the weapon. Do it, Kazak will enjoy it being in the fire. You're saying you think you will have so much fun in the fire. Well, we're gonna have him these two guys hang out in the fire. He can just walk around walk around walk around eating all the people. So I have to skip the store if I wanna not dive. Do I have any more slots for systems? If I got cloaking, the dive wouldn't be terrible. Uh, and if I did plan on diving, it'd be... One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a really good dive. We get, like, two extra jumps. I'm gonna commit to the dive. I'm gonna walk around. Uh, why you got bored me, bro? Why you got to board me? Scooby-dooby, Scooby-dooby-doo. 
They both fully trained. Ash did is not. Bjorn is almost. So actually what I should do is I should spread around the damage here a little bit. Get him low with Kazak. Let the other two dudes finish him. And have... You tank it. He's got speed to outrun fire. Kazak is freaking fast, man. Mantis pheromones on a mantis that's already fast. Look at him. Look at him fly. He's got wings, Kazak does. I'm really hoping we get enough for the cloaking at the store. That's what I'm hoping for, so that the dive is safer. Pry it open. We got... <laughs> nice. We got... Clone Bay. All right. There's, there's our boarding crew. Double Rockman, double Mantis. Possibly the best boarding crew you could ask for. What the hell? Tantalus Assault Missile. A and you need to be swapped around there. But what the hell? A powerful Ion Missile fires two shots. One damage, one ion damage, and medium breach chance uses two missiles. Gosh. Two power. Um, kind of want to try it once just to see. But I'm about to go to the store, so I'm probably going to sell it. Well, ion damage on a missile is really good because I think the way that works is it pierces through the shield to, to do an ion damage and does another ion damage to the shield room. Is that is that correct? Am I correct in that? Yeah, but it uses two ammo. I think it's too expensive, but... Yeah, so I think it does the double. So it's basically one normal damage, two ion damage. So if you hit shields with that, that's really good. The double missile cost is pretty darn expensive, though. I probably have plenty of drone parts by now, especially if I'm gonna get gonna get clone uh, cloaking instead of hacking. Huh? Maybe I should keep that. Use it sparingly. I want my guys to be able to move faster, but I want cloaking and other upgrades more. We're going to give it at least one try here. Let's get two fuel. We need power and engines going into this dive. So we hopefully get at least one jump worth of scrap just for some power here. I could have sold it for the backup battery. You know what? Sell drone parts for it. As I just got rid of my uh, drone recovery arm. Thank you for all the empty jumps when I committed to the dive. That makes it so, so not worth it to do that dive. Frickin' terrible extra jumps there. You can't remember what the cloak looks like on this one? Well, let's check it out. Okay, well, we definitely have uh, anti-boarding here. All right, well, hopefully the missile and the ASB lineup. That's the hope here. We'll stand in 02 for a second, sir. Scoop, doop, doop, doop. Scoop, doop, 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 doop. Oh, it fires two shots, though. Okay. Alright, if it's like before, this thing fires right before the missile. Oh, actually, this looks like it's going to time my route. Come on, fire now. There it is. The Dumble Dumble Doge get wrecked. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. So this should be a zero damage dive, I think. And we get to see what this tan missile can do. Did it get the double ion damage? I'm not 100% sure on that. Oh, we almost got the crew kill here. Okay, that's hitting, so we gotta leave. Okay. 
A uh, new custom ship idea. A ship that starts out strong, but you need to kill 100 dive ships before you reach Sector 8 or else you instantly explode. Ha <laughs> ha. A hundred? That's a lot, Math Champ. You're just adding an hour to the run for no reason. Imagine if both those hit at 85%. Yes, just imagine. Imagine that. Alright, so this guy's not going to be able to do anything unless we get through the shield. So... Two missiles. I feel like the cost is probably too high on this guy. But we at least got to see what it can do. Need to be as strong as as a few FTL for over a hundred dive ships. It's insane. I mean, well, it's to me, it's not the strength of the ship that you're requiring; it's the number of dives. That's just it's too much. It's too many dives. I wouldn't want to have to spend an hour diving just to not die. Wow, this guy's weapons are insane. Uh, that's a good dodge, though. Okay, you guys go finish those dudes off. I should have probably stayed in here. Okay. Oh man, okay, I need to cloak here. Nice. The goal is 2k fuel now? Yeah, that's the goal. No, the goal is just winning. <laughs> Say at most it should be 25 dives. Five would be fine on an above average ship. You generally don't even fight 100 ships in a run. Yeah, that's that's why I don't think 100 dives is good. It's too many dives. Um, we usually like we usually what is it? What's the average like? 100 jumps is a good amount of jumps, and like 40 to 50 ship. Fights is a good amount of ship fights. So that's like double the amount of ships you would normally fight So it probably more than double the time of your uh, Your run so I just don't know about that. Oh, okay. Yeah, come in here, please I'll kill you You're gonna change every event to a dive then great so that you can never get scrap Kappa cool. What a great idea Kappa Oh, Kazak almost didn't die. Damn, lost all that training. Well, we better just... We better vent everybody then. We don't want Kazak to be alone. That would be fine on a flagship ready ship, you guess? I guess so. You start out the ship super OP. I've been boarded so many of the times this run. I haven't even been keeping track. But at least three, I think. At least now I can remaster his skills on the bright side. That's not a bright side. I missed a bright side. Alright, what do we want to do here? I would love to find a store with long range scanners. I want to... What do I want to upgrade? Well, I need fuel, that's for damn sure. We need... We need some sort of better weapon setup. I think that's the main thing we need, a better weapon setup. Okay. I guess we'll deal with the border first. Just especially if this is a single border. Okay. And we'll start setting you on fire, sir. That's Kazak always got to be the one tanking it. Kazak, come on. Let other people do the heavy lifting. Why? Why are you always in the wrong position? I, I actually wish I could understand better teleporter to tele to room. I thought we tested that one time, and I still just can't understand what it's... Why the mantis ended up on the top. Okay. 79 scrap. So we're looking for a store. Seeing that this is not a store... If there is a store down here, we could get it. Okay. Alright. 
So we do this and this. And you have no door, or you have really good doors. Oh, you have a freaking combat drone, yikes. Wish I had backup battery right about now. Funk's old brother, check it out now. You have all of your offense online. Damn it, my dudes are on fire. My mantids are on fire. Uh, hit the drone control. Go be in the clone bay, please. Uh, is that a fire? It's not a fire. Okay. Poor Kazak, man. I don't want you to die all the time, but... Seems to be your lot in life to lose all of your training every single fight. Sucks. Mantis are too fast for their own good. That's why they're always getting to the fight too fast. Maybe. That guy had a really good offense for being in a nebula. Nothing else, just for being in a nebula because it was all cheap and fast. Alright, so we check this, and if we don't see store... I guess we go one, two, three, and across looking for a store. Ignition drone's gonna be less useful soon. Three shields with these weapons won't be great. Right, yep. Alright, attack the ship. Defense drone. But the four-man boarding is still really good. The double mantis double rock dudes is really good. This guy's weapons are freaking insane, though. Um, actually, I think I have to do this. Man, I really need I really need backup battery. I guess I have enough power. I could. I mean, enough scrap. I can invest in some power, but. Hoping for a weapon upgrade of some sort soon. Have a heal bay. God damn it, FTL. You have nobody on fucking piloting. There is nobody on piloting, nobody on engines. He just double dodged my missile. How is how is how does that work? What is the max what is the max dodge you could have right now with nobody on engines, nobody on piloting? Like 10%, 15%, 15% twice? What the hell is that? Stupid FTL, man. Thank you. Wow, we still only got one shield down. All right, this this weapon doesn't seem very good. It just doesn't seem very good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. It's terrible. Now we only need one shield now. I rolled a double one, apparently so. Please kill this crap. Oh my god, well there's the double fire right when my rock dudes died. Alright, what a freaking annoying fight that was. I don't even think I took any damage, but jeez, that was just... That guy had three shields and five, six weapon power. We're not working with two shields and four weapon power. I guess I'm I'm doing what I did on the other run that I lost the other day too much, and that's hoarding too much scrap. So I guess we just... I need power is what I need. I just can't have everything online right now. I need shields. I need power. I need weapons. We need, like, frickin' ships that don't have two- two-person rooms in every single goddamn system. That's what we need, to. Alright, what do we do here? 156 scrap. Third shield uses, like, all of my scrap. Two power, so I can do this. Okay. Still looking for a store, though, because these weapons are terrible. Heavy Pierce is bad, and tan, tan missile. 
It's pretty not amazing. Excuse me, pretty not amazing. There we go. We need more ships like this, please. Alright, whole missile is crap, but I can sell it. I just need a store to sell it at. At which to sell it. I cannot believe they double dodged with nobody on engines or piloting. That is so ridiculous. That is just so freaking ridiculous. They had to have like level three piloting, which gives them what? 20% of their dodge and have like eight engines or something stupid to have any decent chance at that. Okay. Do you have any weapons at this store? No. They keep 80%. 80% of dodge at 3 piloting? Oh. Okay, that's more than I thought. Still. 80% of 40% dodge, whatever they whatever they would have, which is probably 40 or 45 would be, I guess would be the max. Um... I don't have an NG, but I don't really want to buy crew. Okay. All right, well, this store kind of sucks. Can get backup battery, though. Let's do that. We're looking for a not shitty weapon. Can we get one of those, game? How about one of those? On a scale from 1 to 10, how happy are you about that missile build? What, what missile build? It's long range scanners. Ooh, what's this? Phosphorescent laser? Two power for two shots. Ugh. Two power for two shots is crappy. It's like a slightly better fire burst laser one. Am I keeping the launcher? No, it's too expensive missile wise. Oh, what about this? Breach beam? Uh, okay. That's the problem. This is the one problem with Scottish Pingu's mod. He's added all these extra weapons that are cool, but to loot the pool to actually get good weapons. Um, uh, I know there's an explosive replicator. I don't care. You saw how they dodged doubled. They double dodged without a defense drone with nobody on piloting. Piloting, right? It's just, just not worth. Oh man. If I got this, that would be three two-power weapons that do two damage max. That is so freaking inefficient. We need more weapons that have higher efficiency with their shots. Yeah, I know it's crew killing, but you don't want lasers for crew killing. It's kind of anti-synergistic in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, it does start fires, but... I can't find a weapon that actually helps me get through shields. That's the issue right now. Well, we always get this. I just get pre-igniter for this crappy weapon system? Yeah, maybe it's small bomb, actually. I only have 11 missiles. Uh, such lackluster choices here. This is cheap. The one good thing about it is it's cheap, but... Mm. I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. That's what I think we have to do. And we're going in here with half power. Okay. Which taste... Okay. Hey, blue option. That's great. That's a great little extra thing there. Alright, that's an empty jump. Okay. So yeah, this ignite drone's not good when we have all these extra weapons that are not good for getting through shields. And this guy's running, which is not good. Oh god, what are you hacking? Okay, not my weapons, that's fine. Alright, small bomb, I need you to go ahead and hit on your first attempt, please. We need to cloak the eye on. Perfect. Wow. Got level 3 piloting. Okay, everybody's got level 3 piloting. It's just standard issue on these guys. Thankfully he didn't dodge anything, though. 
Nice breach. Oh, good doge. Good doge. Way to doge, man. Way to doge. We're gonna do that first. I should have done that already. Do that. Beautiful. Alright, good fight. Good frickin' fight, man. Good frickin' fight. Probably should have had somebody on shields there. Oh, well. Okay, all right. Small bomb is good with boarding, though, so that's nice. Problem is we're going into frickin' sector... F well, okay, it's only sector 5. It's not too bad. Zoltan Homeworlds, huh? We sold our Zoltan Shield Bypass. Uh, we have decent weapons to get through. All right, we're gonna go for it. Time to shank my friends and play Among Us. All right, pie boy, enjoy your friend shanking. <laughs> Friend shaking, it's a shanking, it's a great pastime for all involved. Okay, auto scout, no shields. He's running. Okay. Um see if I can get his well, I have cloaking and defense drone. Actually kinda of have overkill on my uh, missile defense. See if we do that, 94% good. Now we can hit empty room, although I actually don't want to hit an empty room because I want to get one extra shot in here. Okay, there we go. okay. that's a good reward. Two or three fuel that was. Okay, it's a pretty good little start of the sector here. Although I want empty jumps to result in shield quest, we'll start by getting a bunch of scrap before the store, then look for empty jumps. Okay. All the auto assault ships were in a Zoltan sector, right? Okay. Okay, we're gonna cloak the missile or the bomb. Oh, no, we're not. Damn it. FTL. Oh, God, it's firebomb. Okay. All right, let's send one of you to fix that. The other guy goes over here. No, oh God. Oh, the good doges. The great doges. Goodness gracious, great doges of fire. Well done. Okay. Oh, geez. Okay. Mantis repair crew. Conserving bombs by not, or missiles by not bombing more. Nice. Yeah, let's get one of you guys up here to finish it. Okay, 115 scrap. We do have a store coming up. About to do a half power event again. Which power do we have? 5, 10, 13. Okay. Come on, be the... This is not the one I was hoping for, but this will work. Yeah, we can do this. We got backup battery. We have cloaking. Oh, we got four-man boarding we can actually use. Yay! And he... Doesn't have his mind control online, so I actually don't want to do system damage to him right now. We can if we take out the mind control, though. Oh my gosh, that was a really good shot. I should have cloaked. Nice. That's a really good mini beam swipe. Oh crap. Repair. Rocks don't have the repairing penalty, right? Correct. But they get around the ship slower, so that's why I was not using them. Okay, 161 scrap. About to hit the store, and then we go for empty jumps looking for Zoltan Shield. If we got Zoltan Shield, we're like really strong. The triple... Oh, look at the yellow ship here. The triple defense stuff. Okay, well, the good thing is that's what small bomb strength is. Oh yeah, we have a uh, drone... Yeah, we had drone, uh, whatever it's called. Scrambler, defense scrambler, that thing. 
Bum, 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 bum. Cloak that. Perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at these things dancing. It's like a drone dance party. <laughs> Three drones all. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> drone spaz attacker, that's right. Stony boy so slow. Yeah, and I did sell the... um. What's it called? Hey, two stores. Uh, the Mantis Pheromones. Alright, what you got? Ion Blast Mark II. That's a good way to get through shields. Okay. Chain 2. Two power, three shots per charge. Chain, ch chain charge cap. 8.9998. That's like a better burst laser 2, right? Starts slower, but eventually gets faster. We've never actually seen what augment and use the defense scrambler, yeah. Yeah, it's basically a better and cheaper burst laser too. Okay, let's get rid of the heavy pierce. Thinking about the ion blast as well. Ion blast instead of whole laser, so I can keep using my. Burn thing. If I can keep their shields down with uh, Ion, that would be really good. That's probably the best weapon I've seen today of your uh, modded weapons. Ion Blast Mark II can eventually punch through all shields. Well, it depends on how often you hit, but yes. I think I'm going to sell this. I'm going to get this. And go like this. I don't think I want the whole laser. We're going to go for third shield next. And this is going to be our offense plus the fire drone. Because I feel like that can be really, really, really stinking good against the boss. Actually, I'm going to go one, two, three. And this is another probably dive sector trying to find Sultan Shield. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's fine. So we want to cloak their guy here. We just got way better weapons for getting through Zelda Shields too, which is awesome. Do 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 do. Okay. So that just fired. We're gonna get exploded. So as long as we, hopefully we just don't lose our, uh, we better not lose clone bay here. Let's go up here. Poor mantids, they're so low on health. Okay, they shouldn't be able to get through. I say right as they freaking get through because goddamn combat drone. Okay. Uh, my crew apparently suck. Your crew are way better at boarding. Okay. Cool. The hell? My um, amazing boarding crew are just getting absolutely blasted. Jesus, man. Okay. Let's do this. You guys go finish them, please. I think we only blew up two of them. My crew must my boarding crew must have been low from the previous fight or something. Probably don't need small bomb anymore. Well, what I like about small bomb is it's probably the best boarding support weapon. Definitely the best one power boarding support weapon in the game, I would say. All your weapons are set rare or very rare as do not totally swamp the stores. I've had a few runs in a row and not come across the same weapons. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's basically discount hacking too. Yeah, kind of. Okay, what do you got? All the Zoltan shields. Well, we are in Zoltan sector. We're hopefully going to get our own Zoltan shield. Can I get a Zoltan shield too? 
Okay. Small bomb the heal bay. Backup battery, cloak this. Perfect. There we go. That's what I'm looking for from my boarding. Almost instantly kill their two Zoltans. Almost instantaneously. Alright, so we're hoping for... Well, Prigniter would not be that good. <laughs> so that's what we find. Prigniter's not that great with this build. Here's a Prigniter for you. Okay, well, I guess I'll take a Prigniter. I mean, Prigniter Small Bomb and Prigniter Chain... Is like bypasses the slowest part of it, so I guess we just take the pre-igniter. I'm never gonna get my third shield. All right. One, two, three, four, five, and dive. Okay, I think that's what we do. Looking for Zoltan Shield quest here. Um, pair one. Okay. I sold drone recovery arm, yeah. We have plenty of drone parts now, and I'm not using the fire beam drone guy every time, so that's the main reason. Let's go ahead and vent you guys. Okay. No ASB, so we don't have to, like, keep guys on piloting or anything while we kill all these dudes. If I had like hull repair drone, maybe I would have would have wanted to have kept it. But all right, we need poor Mantis. They're never keeping their training. This is why like um, reconstructed teleport, so I can actually keep my training on my my Mantis borders. Just always, almost at max training. Almost, but not quite. Okay, here. I need my empty jump so I can do Zelton shield quest, please, game. Please. Please. I see you have an eye on Blastmark, too. Do, 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 do. Okay. Right wing ignition laser. So that's a special one for... Another fire weapon. You love your fire, don't you, Scottish Pink? You, you really love your fire. To covet freedom is to covet the sun. It will draw you in and you will feel bliss before you fall. <laughs> Lovely description. One power, seven second charge time. Pierces no shields, but does fire damage. I mean, kind of goes with the theme of the ship, honestly. Oh my gosh, there are just no empty jumps. Why is this always the case? You want empty jumps, Zelton sectors give you none. You don't want empty jumps, NG sectors give you all the empty jumps. That's on a ship called Icarus. It doesn't do system damage. Um, when you put negative system damage and regular on one normal damage, so so that can kill ships and start fires, but it doesn't do system damage. Okay, that's an interesting combo. All right, one power, seven second charge time. I believe it was the Burninator. Yeah, only we had four rock borders, I guess. We're not really a full-on boarding ship since we don't have mind control. Okay, well, we're getting training now. Getting back, but we're all almost dead again. Please, may I have an empty jump? No, no, you may have a pulsar. What a crappy, crappy thing, man. 
I committed to a dive for this. Well, I don't want to double dive. So I have to hope that this is Alden Shield quest. It's probably another ship fight. Alright. You love added effects, but there's only really stun, breach, and fire, yeah. Oh man. I probably should try to get third shield if it's a if it's a possibility before the dive. I was really I was banking on us at least getting the Zolden Shield quest, and we have one more chance at it, but a pulsar coming up. Especially if it's a Zolden ship we're fighting there. We do have pre-igniter, so hopefully we'll be able to get through before that, but still, this is not Again, as the Zolden sector kind of kicking our ass here. Okay, it actually doesn't have that. Okay, that's good. Um, this. Auto fire. Oh, why am I auto firing there? And then this. Are you freaking kidding me? Alright, well, we got that offline. We have cloaking. Okay, we're gonna let that hit while we still have shields. Uh, does he have a repair drone? Crap, he must. We need to get this offline as quick as possible. Okay, he's got no weapons. I think we're okay here. Okay. Hey, alright, another crew. We're finally full up on crew. Was he trained in? Weapons? Okay. Um, that'll let you go on shields. Perfect. I don't have any way to repair this breach without taking damage right now. Um, and we're going to another ship fight. Uh, let's just wait. At least the borders are always learning. <laughs> or in the case of the Zoc, always forgetting what they used to know. Getting what I used to know. Poor Kazak. He used to he used to know so much stuff. I could actually refresh, but I'm not going to, because I could clone my dudes. But Zoldan Clone Bay, yeah, exactly. I could, but not going to. Looks like we're pretty good. It's just a bunch of humans. Just a bunch of humans. Nice missile offline. Hey, we even stunned one of our enemy dudes and not us. Very nice. Oh, that one did stun our dude. Beautiful. Okay. Now we can recover. So, since you all are gonna die anyway, let's go ahead and uh, fix this. Um, let's have you guys go help. What is right wing? It is a two pow. Oh, actually, it's two shots for one power. Oh, that's better than I thought it was. It's two shots for one power. Okay. It's a fire starting laser. I am the fire starter. Right wing instigator. Fire starting laser. Um, okay. Uh, do I want to get that online or do I want to get third shield going into the sector five dive? It's actually a similar amount of stuff. Let's go ahead and get the shield. Why is right wing not a conservative laser? Huh, I see what you did there. I see, I see, I get it. I see, I get it. Do 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 okay, clone bay. So if I do this No clone bay for ya. Hmm. 
Beautiful. So now we can save the cloaking for this. Unless these guys time out perfectly, then that would kind of suck. But I only have six misses left, so... Doo, 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 doo. We've almost killed all this crew. Nice. Oh, that does time out well. Oh, that sucks. Oh, come on, man. The perfect Halberd swipe right before the ASB. Oh, that sucks so much. Okay, I have to cloak now. I need 60% to Dumble Doge. Thank God. Wait, we had 85? No, I think we only had 60 when that went off. Okay. Oh, I didn't save my positions. You're supposed to be there. You're supposed to be there. There. Okay. 60% apparently enough. Thank praise R and Jesus for that. Oh god, Zoltan into Zoltan. <laughs> and we didn't get Zoltan shield quest from Zoltan Homeworlds. Because every single jump was basically a ship fight jump. Do you want to use three rocks in boarding plus igniter? I mean, I'd like to if I could consistently get through shields. I guess I could put Kazak on a system or something. I would rather have four if I'm going to go all in on it. For now, I think I'm going to keep it the way it is. <clears throat> all right. Double Ion Stunner Halberd Beam. What a build. Okay. Just not really even using the drone. I feel like this will be really good against the boss. Currently, it's not that useful. Kazak has lost so much in other skills. I know, I've had to freaking clone him so many times. Sucks. Shucks, man, shucks. Okay, five missiles. I'll probably use the small bomb until we run out of bombs and then swap to the right wing, maybe. It's really good to take out heal bays when we immediately board. I might just stop boarding soon. Well, not against ships like this, though. Why? Why are the damn mantis tanking every time? I guess I need to swap which sides they're on, because I swear every time they're the ones tanking. Just in case something's flying towards me, okay. Four man TP stop boarding blasphemy. It is kind of blasphemous, huh? Especially when one of those people is Kazak. Oh, Khalid, oh, Khalid. Okay, that's gonna be half power. Let's go right into it. Yeah. Biggest shame is his repair skill. Imagine how many hours lost in learning how to repair with Mantis Arms. That's right. All right, auto scout. Eye on. Nice. Very nice. I'll even use one more if I can avoid that shot to take no damage. Good. All right, down to two missiles. Huh, my only um, whole damaging weapon right now is the chain laser. So we kind of are a boarding ship, because otherwise we aren't doing damage. So... We need to find... I mean, if we got, like, double of these chain lasers, that would be pretty insane. Why not try the right right wing? Uh, maybe I will, I will soon. 
Again, Small Bomb is so good at taking out heal bays. That's why I'm keeping it online. I'm about to run out of missiles, so that's why I'm holding on to it right now. I'm probably going to sell it at the store, though, because we're almost out. Especially if there's some weapon we can get to replace it with. That's a level 3 heal bay. Okay. Beautiful. Hey, we took very little damage that time. Does not do hull? It does do hull, actually. So, are you saying I should have done it against that fight? Yeah, I probably should have. It's just because it's pre-ignited and it's pre-ignited for boarding. It makes... Pre-ignited small bomb for boarding is actually kind of insane. But I, I think I'm about to swap it out. Whoa, okay, glaive. Whoa, pre-ignited glaive beam, okay. Problem is that we can't get through shields with that too quickly. Beam does one damage, one system damage, draws radiation from dark clouds, smite one's foes, truly knightly weapon. Two power. Okay. Hmm. How long is this? Mid length beam? So, like halberd length, probably? Alright, let's sell small bomb. We'd need two power to get that online. Lay beam is just too expensive, although pre-igniter makes it very tempting. But we're kind of going for crew killing here. That would definitely give us the definitely give us the uh, hole damaging we were looking for. But the right wing kind of works with what we're doing with the fire thing. So let's keep with the meme system damage. Okay. Um, damn, that's, this is a four store, isn't it? Unless I go up and around, it's a forced store. Oh, this does have a fire chance. Okay. Every weapon except the chain that we have, chain burst laser has a fire chance with the ignite thing. Okay, so this would be 190. It's going to be a bit before we get that online, but I think that's what I'm going to go for. Unless we find something amazing at this store, because I think we're just going to go one, two, and then up, up and across. Let's get power first. Doors. Piloting. A lot of things we've been putting off getting. Imagine if there's a Fire Flak 1 in the store. If, if only. Fire Flak 1. Okay, nice. That's a breach in there. Might as well just auto fire all these weapons, I guess. Okay, my defense drone is dead. Cool. Thanks. Oh my god, we cannot dodge a thing. What the hell? I have 40% dodge and I'm dodging zero things. Thanks, FTL. Thanks. Freaking double combat drone is insane, though. No cloaking. Okay. What an insane ship that was. Combat 2, Combat 1, Burst Laser 2. Just kept my shields completely suppressed. Yeah, instant Vulcan. I, I would say that's better than a Vulcan for suppressing. Now, maybe that's what you mean by instant. It's an instantly online. How does one submit a ship using the FTL ship command? Um, once your ship is made... You upload it to oh, another glow lance. Ooh, automated reloader, yeah. You upload it to any file sharing site like um Google Google whatever it's called. Google Drive, Box.com, Mediafire, and then private message me the link on Twitch. That's the best way to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. He had a ridiculous amount of firepower. Ridiculous. I got NG. No, I don't. I have cloaking and ion. I think ion's better. 58 scrap. Nice. Pulsar. Upload it to the Google servers. Yeah. 
Yeah, the Google servers, those things. Kappa. All right. Level three heal bay. I don't have the drone. Of course, this is. I was about to use this for the first time, and of course, I can't. Okay, cloak the missile. Oh, it burned down. Beautiful. God, his drone control. All right, we're about to kill his crew, though. Whoa, thank goodness we killed his crew really fast, because we were about to get wrecked by a bunch of drones. Holy crap. I could have moved this guy up to there, too, so... Lose dodge, but gain unlosable to ion all shields, whatever. All right, we have enough scrap to get the glow lance online. If I was not in a freaking pulsar, it's kind of funny that uh, somebody earlier was making about the joke about pre-ignited ion blast is the best. And that's actually what we have. Pre-ignited Ion Blast Mark II. That is our build. Frickin' Pulsars, man. Frickin' Pulsars. I just gotta wait. I gotta be patient. I hate waiting. Could you not do the maximum, maximum amount of Ion damage to my shields every damn time, please? Please? What are we jumping into? Possibly an empty jump, but it could be a ship fight. All right, there we go. This will let us get out. My Google Drive parse FTL files as text document documents. I don't know, but it still works, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. All right, system repair drone for free. I'll take it. All right, let's get this glow lance online. It's such a glowy lance. Uh, I don't want to do this. I think I want to do it this way. Something like that. That is the glowiest lance I have ever seen. Advanced FTL navigation. Uh, I'd love to take you. I can't do that. If only there was a mod for more augments or a way to combine augments together. If only. All right, we have one whole sector to go. We're pretty strong. Our weapons are a little funky, but... I think they'll be good. Slug, Nebula, or Rock? Let's go Rock. I got defense. I got missile defense for days. Missile defense for days. Or just put augments in storage. That would be nice, yeah. Is there any way to download the fan ship? You'd love to try some of them. You saw me playing. Yes. Exclamation point FTL ship and then click on the link. There's a link to mybox.com. Mybox.com is where I ignite, ignite, upload every single ship that uh, people submit. And you are welcome to check it out there. Okay. I need power now. Okay. Oh. Don't stun my own dudes. 100% doge. Oof, okay, beautiful. He's got cloaking. Let's try to take out that cloaking. And some weapons. Okay. Alright, flak 2. Beautiful. Nice. You have so many rock dudes, we still barely win this fight. I swear, boarding falls off so, so hard late game. Boarding falls off so hard. Well, if you don't have mind control uh, support, I guess, is the main thing. Okay, that's fine. Blue! Yay, we did it! We were protected from losing crew by Clone Bay anyway there, so... 
That was the event that I think uh, level 5 engines actually gave us a blue option on earlier. That's a lot of resist, but uh, we should be able to board on you now. Oh man, my mantis are gets, getting so wrecked by the boarding and the fire. Oh god. Oh, that doesn't do system damage, damn. Poor mantis just being stuck in a fire. And I cannot save you. I guess I can try to get you out, but I don't think we get you out in time. Oh, I got out. Okay, nice. Um, but you don't have any shields. So... Uh, this ship is dead. Unless you resist a lot. Okay. This is so anti-synergistic, man. Starting fires with half of my boarding crew being Mantis. Assuming that Whisper is the Twitch equivalent of private message? That's correct, yes. Should be a um, chat bubble on the top of your screen somewhere to do that. Just at or to Rand118 for that. I would I should still refresh them. Oh, I was gonna refresh anyway, so it's only 50 50 to get the red blue plump the other half of the time it's an easy diffuse. Three fourths of the time it's free scrap from the rock mine, only one fourth for damage and losing crew. Uh I have got another rock man, that's true. He's fully weapon trained. You know what? Let's do that. We're gonna just totally swap out the build here. I'm gonna do not for full man boarding full four man boarding now. Eh, let's do this. Let's do this. We can do this. We'll have one mantis dying while Kazak will slowly learn how to do weapons again. I know, rip Kazak's weapon training. Okay. NG Ion drone. Scrap cover your arm. I don't think I care about any of this stuff. Back at DMNA bank? No. Now, now I should be fine not losing crew at level 2. Unless I get really screwed. I could even do another value point in uh, Bone Bay, but no, I don't like spending... I, where where am I going to fit that augment in, really? I have pre-igniter and uh, automated reloader. And we still get value out of long-range scanners, so... Let's get power and dodge. Power, dodge, power. Power, dodge, power. Firebomb. Was there a firebomb there? Mm, we got a lot of fire sources. Namely this thing right here. We'll actually use that one this time. Okay. Oh, what did my defense drone do? I didn't. Uh, I didn't turn it on. I was planning on cloaking, and I didn't because I was too busy microwing every single thing that I have here. Damn it! That's three damage I didn't need to take. Okay. I keep forgetting that doesn't do system damage. It's so confusing. Somebody's getting a lot of training. Uh, why is there... Okay. I say, why are they not dead yet? Okay, there we go. Alright. You poor guys are gonna lose all that training again. I wonder how Rand will feel when he plays my mod and he runs into my Oni stealth ship with the Neutronium Flak. 
I will have to remember what that is, but it probably will be scared. I will probably be scared the entire time I play your... Viewer ships are the enemies mod, because I can't imagine that being in any way, shape, or form balanced. To be honest, you know the flagship will hit your clone bay with a missile and double set it on fire. Good chances. 80% chance of that. Because everyone loves to send me OP ships. Well, I do like playing OP ships, so... You know, it'll all come back to bite me because of your mod. I will probably play it for like five minutes and be like, "There, this is no... There's no way. <laughs> right, let's turn on the defense drone this time. God damn it, FTL. An immediate asteroid hit it. Just un freaking believable on goddamn believable every goddamn time I swear man on freaking believable this crap okay thank god he didn't bomb my cloaking Okay, this clone bay is still up. I need to kill it. I actually want a shield to come back online if I want to get a crew kill here, so... I should stop firing that. It's looking like that's not going to happen. Okay. Hard part will be remembering which ships are OP to avoid fighting. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to remember. Unless I can see their weapons at the beginning, which I probably will for some of them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Lots of stores this sector. Try to be a hero, attack the pirate, and then the unassuming looking weapon shoot at Vulcan speed. <laughs> I know. I mean, will the OP basic laser that's basically a machine gun be in there? Because that was on one ship. I don't I don't know how you'll do that. Okay, these are all firing at the same time as we cloak it. That ship is in, okay. All right, let's get some fires going. Actually, there's no reason to do that because they don't take damage from fires, although it'll burn their ship down, so I guess that's one reason to do it. Just means it only hurts my mantis more than any of their dudes. Oh, there my mantis died. Uh, starting fires actually benefited them more than it hurt them. Okay, this kills does crew kill damage though, right? Okay. <clears throat> Make the basic laser for it an actual separate weapon rather than changing the vanilla blueprint. I I would assume that was what you would have to do. I can't ima I can't imagine all the changes you have to make for all the weapons that are in this mod. Orcs have a kernel launcher that's like a Vulcan missile launcher. They also have an augment that has a 65% chance to not use a missile, so you can fire off a couple dozen kernels and only lose a hat handful of missiles. Okay. Their systems burn. That's good. You all burn. Uh, do I want another store? My weapons are maxed. I got all augments I can fit. I got nothing to sell. I think I'm gonna skip the store just for more potential scrap gains here. So let's get power. Um, value, value. We teleport and then back up battery up our drones, I guess. Ran just two things he would need to deal with orchids though. Defense drones and fire. Wow. They actually gave me a quest marker? This late in Sector 7? That is mind-boggling to me. Mind boggling. One, two, three, four. Do I care about that quest marker is the question. <laughs> is that the trap? I mean, I'd have to dive now. I'm not going to dive for that. Oh, is this quest again. They've detected you. Prepare for a fight. Okay. So, 
Oh man, there's gonna be so many fires. So many freaking fires. Let's burn down their systems, though. Let's do this. Okay, that's a breach into their weapon system. Well, time for my uh, poor, poor Mantis to burn. Oh god, I hope the solar flare doesn't kill my clone bay. My poor Mantis. <laughs> Why am I boarding with a Mantis with a fire boarding build? My freaking poor Mantis. Oh, now it's vented, okay. So do this. Okay, he's already up, okay. This poor Mantis. Okay, pretty good crew killing there. Oh my gosh, you must be like full health, bro. Um, actually, let's get you two to go help finish these guys off. Just finish them even though we're in a fire and they have the advantage. Just finish them. Oh, God. Finish them, please. Oh, my God. Finish them. Okay. Find a weapon. We found a fire beam. Actually, that's pretty good. Uh... Okay, good. Solar Flare really hates my backup battery, but otherwise we're good. Poor Kazak! I just wanted to remind him of those good times when he was a boarder. Need more fire. I mean, I guess we can do that instead of... I don't even know. How do we get through shields? Uh, there might be such a thing as too much fire, actually. There's never too much fire, never. Oh my gosh. Well, there's too much fire for our freaking mantis border, that's for sure. The poor guy. Okay. The poor Mantis. Poor Matt over here. Okay. There's some fires. Let's go crew killing here. You're dead. You're all dead. Okay. Please don't put the mantis in here. Okay, good. They actually put the mantis where I want them to be. Perfect. All right, beautiful. Flagship challenge, I guess, is having fire in every single tile of the flagship. I think we've done that before, but yeah, we could maybe go for that challenge here. Okay, all right, let's see here. Uh, sure, I'll take that deal. I don't have any missiles, right? Okay, we got a repair station. Oh, we get two, possibly two. Uh, we should definitely get fourth shield. Bad if either of a flagship. Okay, what we got here. So I can't use my offensive drone. <clears throat> okay. Oh, damn it, there's a frickin' boarding drone I didn't see. Okay. Well, okay, let's not get stunned there. Why are you sitting in there? I must have moved you accidentally. Okay. Okay. No clone bay for you. 
Uh, go kill this guy. Not the mantis, because he's burning. Okay, let's get out of here while we wait for row 2 to come back up. You got no doges anyway. There we go. Um, oh, there's still a dude alive. Why are you alive? You should be dead. There it is. Oh, their sincerest gratitude. What was that F your gratitude that Farb said? Or Pie Boy told me that Farb said one time, F your gratitude. I can't upgrade my ship with gratitude. All right, what's good scrap though, it's true. Oh man. Well, if I dive for the repair station, then it's like it becomes a double dive. That would suck, but damn it. Immediate second jump repair taken over. That sucks. All right, there's our fourth shield. Now we need power. Okay. Okay, so this is a dive, so we don't actually want to board here. Still want to kill him if we can, and we got to save our cloaking. Ugh, that sucks. That's fine. So no, no backup battery this fight. There's one. Let me do level two just to guarantee this lasts long enough. Damn it, I thought I'd get rid of it. Okay, there we go. Alright, should be zero damage dive. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, dive ship. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Right, we should have a repair station. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that. Give our stuff a chance to refresh too. Beautiful. All right, 115 scrap. Oh yeah, we have a fire beam. That's right. <coughs> okay, what can we do here? Do we want to change any build? What's the glow lance's fire chance? Low versus high. So I guess we want to completely burn down the ship phase one of the boss. It's pre-ignited. We get through less hull damage. But we can really destroy his crew with that. Okay. Damn, four shields and double defense drones. That's a build right there. Nice. Oh, <laughs> that's a whole repair drone. Oh, right, there's a good fight. You're wrecked. All right, well, that's basically GG with whole repair drone. 26 drone parts. Let's take free stuff. I am ready. I am. I am ready to finish this run. 184 scrap. What can we do? Drone value point. Sensors so I can see another ship with nobody on sensors. Two power. And one more power. All the power so we can have all this online. Okay. All right, so how are we going to board on this ship? I think we, um, I maybe should have upgraded teleporter so I could have board quick, boarded quicker. I think we actually set their heal bay on fire and then board their heal bay. And that's going to kind of depend on what they hack, right? They never knew it hit them, that's right. Never know what hit them. Take down missiles first, maybe? Well, yeah, but with my boarding, I can't. I can't board in the missiles. I need to board in a four-person room. Hmm. 
Okay. I might just board in shield room, honestly. Keep them from repairing it. Sucks for this guy, but... They hacked my drone control. Alright, well, so much for, uh... Ignite drone on this phase, I guess. Alright, time to get those fires started. That's breached. Uh, that does no system damage, so we need to get the missiles offline. We almost have them offline. There it is. Okay. So no missiles. We're fighting in their shield room with a bunch of fires. Start pulling dudes through here and uh, getting them to kill themselves. They'll slowly come through here to try to take out piling. Okay, there's like two crew left. That's we want. We want them to be alive. Don't kill all of them. Well, that was effective. <laughs> that worked well. You, sir, are on fire. I didn't even switch to the fire beam. They made the missiles harder. Later's harder to cheese. Metal Jaw, you have probably not played on hard mode before. That's in that's in hard mode. That's in hard mode. That's uh, that's always been that way in hard mode. Um, okay. That was effective, you think? Yeah. Okay, we took zero damage. <laughs> Good phase one. Good phase one. Um, value point teleporter. Okay. See as that ship looked as quick it got destroyed. That's right. Okay. Um, so I don't want to kill all their crew this phase because I want to leave one alive for the final phase so we can't dodge as much. So he's got he's got two crew. They should stay alive. I believe. Go and just turn these guys on. No missiles for you, bro. Okay. Don't kill him, please. Good. Do do. Oh my gosh. We're frickin' strong, man. Okay, let's stop firing this. Poke this. He might die in the fire on the way back to the thing. Please don't. Okay, good. He healed. Perfect. Let's do this. When he comes back, we're gonna go... We're gonna go back. There we go. We're purposefully doing this to not kill his crew so that he's alive on the final phase. So he doesn't get the bonus to doges for being a uh, automated ship. Good phase two, zero damage. Golden drone that shoots through shields, bit too OP. It shoots through two shields, not all shields. But yes, it's pretty OP. You never got into sector eight on hard and you can't believe you outed yourself as a scrub. <laughs> it's okay, lots of people who watch the stream still learn in the game or don't play on max difficulty and don't know these things, so no worries. You scrub. Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. Well, we've taken zero damage for these two phases, so let's go finish the boss. Oh my god, that was insane. Okay. Oh, I don't have the mind control counter, though. That's that's our that's the downside here. You go there. No. Oh, uh, why is the crew dead? Why is that guy dead? Man, I purposefully got wrecked, apparently. Why are you alive? Why are you freaking alive? Or not. Wow, good job, defense drone, by the way. Oh, because he boarded. Never mind. He freaking boarded, that's why. Okay, here comes... Come on, my control, could you wear off, please? There it is. 
Damn. We almost had a zero damage boss fight. Missiles are surely gonna hit us at least once. Holy doges, Batman. Okay. We actually probably get a zero damage boss fight. How the hell did we dodge so many missiles? Oops, I didn't do that. Uh, maximize GG cookie time. We did it. Zero damage boss fight with this ship. Holy crap. Zero damage boss fight twice today. Although the other one was a little more OP of a ship, I would say. Orange Jesus lures me. Well... To that this one on our first run of the day was not Lerv and me. It was a pretty challenging run. Check the score. 60-16. Broke 6k. 1991. What a great year that was. Scrap collected. 100 beacons explored. 51 ships defeated. Alrighty, my friends. Well, that was a fun day of viewer created ships. Again, I gotta gotta thank Math Champ, um, Scottish Pingu, and Richard Bukowski for the ships. Always love to see these ships. I think we got a couple more uh, submitted today, so we'll get to those next week. So I hope you all enjoyed the FTL. Super fun. Uh, some pretty OP ships. One fairly balanced ship, a little weak because it was missing some pieces. But for the most part, some pretty OP ships. And again, if anybody wants to check out these ships, uh, you can check them out on my box.com. The uh, exclamation point FTL ship command will give it to you in the chat there. But uh, I'm going to head out because we've gone late and uh, I'm tired. So I hope you all enjoyed the FTL. If there's anybody new to the stream, hope you hit the follow and come join us again for some more FTL action. Tomorrow we're going to play some Battletech. Uh, working on getting our Assault Lance fully put together and completing the story. Wednesday will be some uh, Monster Train. And uh, no, and Wednesday will be Hard Mode No Pause, our challenge that we're doing with our Tiru Streak challenge. So we'll be do monster, doing Monster Train on Friday. So y'all are amazing. Again, I can never thank all you wonderful folks enough for the bits, the follows, the subs, the gifted subs, the lurking, the donations, all the wonderful, amazing stuff. Y'all do sports stream. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you amazing people. One final six second worth of ads. Y'all know the drill. Peace out. Happy gaming. Love all you wonderful folks. And we'll see you next time. Happy gaming, y'all. Y'all rock. Later, all.